The business secretary told the BBC that in order for the UK to fully gain from a new trade agreement with 11 countries in Asia and the Pacific, we must really use it. Following her approval of the agreement with a trade area that encompasses roughly 500 million people, Kemi Badenoch made the statements. The UK economy is expected to benefit only slightly from the accord. Nevertheless, Ems Badenoch stated on the Sunday with Laura Kunzberg programme that how firms utilise the agreement was crucial. Australia, Brunei, Canada, Chile, Japan, Malaysia, Mexico, New Zealand, Peru, Singapore, and Vietnam are participants in the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, or CPTPP, which was founded in 2018. The government's forecasting agency, the Office for Budget Responsibility, OBR, has previously predicted that Brexit would eventually lower the UK's potential economic growth by roughly 4%. The government's estimate of the CPTPP's effects, according to Ms. Badenoch, doesn't look at the future growth that's coming in and it also doesn't look at how we use the agreement, she added.